What's going on guys? This is Nolan and I am the Tier Zero Scrub. So today for you guys, I have the Dark Magician deck profile. Like I told you guys in the last video, I've been working with this deck and playtesting a lot. Uh, right now, no, I am not playing Keeper of uh, Dragon Magic or Polymerization in this. To me, I felt like Dark Magician was a more shut you guys out and just negate everything that you have. Uh, it's a little bit bigger deck. I'm playing 46 cards. Like, I felt like this was the best build possible for Dark Magician. So, before we get into this, guys, I need you all to do me a favor. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go. So, let's get right into this, guys. Starting off with the monsters. It is a Dark Magician deck, so you cannot go without playing three Dark Magicians. So, I chose the 2017 uh, Megaton version of Dark Magician. Because it was the only secret rares of it that I had. But still, also I love this artwork as well. And again, it's a Dark Magician deck. You can't play without you can't play without three Dark Magician. So following up is three of Apprentice Illusion Magician. Uh, Apprentice Mal Illusion Magician's effect is you discard a card from your hand, special summon this out, and then you can search one Dark Magician from deck to hand. Very good. I was originally playing this at two, and I felt like since I'm going with more uh, more of a stun build, I needed more spell casters. Plus, I'm playing Secret Village, so the more spell casters to me, the better. Uh, next, we're playing Triple Magician's Rod. It's your main searcher of the deck. Uh, when you normal summon this card, you can add a Dark Magician spell or trap to your hand. And then I really like it in combo with uh, Dark Magical Circle and Eternal Soul. And especially when this is in the graveyard, you can just keep tributing Dark Magician and keep bringing it back to your hand. And plus also I'm playing Allure of Darkness, so just going ahead and having a dark in my hand is just really good. Um, next, I'm playing two Magician of Dark Illusion. I never found myself needing more than two of this. Uh, very good comboing off of Magician's Navigation. And you're also playing this as more of a rank 7 build anyway, so the other two rank 7s are really good. Uh, then I had two 1-ups. Uh, we were playing one Cosmo Brain. Cosmo Brain is pretty good in the deck. Uh, really to me it's just a 2900 beater because you're normally trying to tribute Dark Magician off with this. Again, I especially like tributing my Dark Magicians and bringing them back out with Eternal Soul. Because again, just pop banishing everything off the field is just really good. And I mean, having a 2900 beat stick essentially for free, pretty good. And then the last monster is one Kaiku, the Ghost Destroyer. Just being able to banish stuff out of my opponent's graveyards. Not bad. Uh, I'm not playing any hand traps. I never felt like I needed any. Because essentially Dark Magician is your hand trap for this deck. And the way I play this, I just felt like I never needed any more than, uh, I just felt like I never needed hand traps. So again, that's it for the monsters, guys. Now we're going to go off into spells. I have a really high spell count in this. Uh, and again, that's just mostly due for cards like Dark Magic Inheritance and what, and what have you. So anyway, starting off with the Dark Magician spells. Uh, triple Dark Magical Circle, no more, no less. It's again, again, it's essentially Pot of Duality for the deck, only a lot better Pot of Duality for the deck. Uh, just let you search Dark Magician, add an Eternal Soul and Navigation to your hand. Uh, next, another good searcher is Double Dark Magic Inheritance. I really like it at two. I know a lot of people are playing it at one, but to, personally, I felt it was just really good not or not to play it at two. Well, I felt it was good enough to play it at two. Either I draw into it or I just don't need to use it. Other than that, I can just use it for discard father if, if need be. Yeah, anyways, I like it at two, and I feel like you should always play it. Uh, next, the last dark... I have three more Dark Magician spells. So for the last one of Illusion Magic. Tribute a Spellcaster, you get two Dark Magicians to your hand. Dark Magic Attack, very searchable off really any other card in this deck. 
And then I only run this at one, and I'm only playing one fusion card in the extra deck, so I feel like I'd never needed more than this. And that was Aya Tamias. You know, if I see it, I see it. If not, not the end of the world. Uh, that's it for the Dark Magician spells. Now, Kanir Engine and Floodgate cards. Uh, I play two Pot of Duality. Again, this deck doesn't really rely on special summoning. You're wanting to just react more to your opponent. Uh, next, two Allure of Darkness. Uh, all your monsters are dark, so and getting a free draw is just pretty good. Uh, next, because we are playing a lot of links in this deck, and I mean a lot. Triple Scapegoat. Again, you're trying to react to your opponent, and it's a free Boral Otis or Yuja, so why not? And then two Secret Village of the Spellcaster. I mean, essentially being able to shut your opponent out is just really good. And then the last two spells is Monster Reborn and Soul Charge. Because, again, you just want to special summon your Dark Magicians and just be able to pop everything off the... and just be able to banish everything with uh, Dark Magical Circle. Uh, that's it for spells. And then I play quite a few traps. Uh, you want to play Triple Eternal Soul. It's Eternal Soul and Dark Magician. You need to play it at three. Uh, search for Dark Magic Attack if you need it. And just be able to bring out Dark Magicians and comboing off with uh, Dark Magical Circle. It's essential at three. No more, no less. Uh, three Dark three Magician Navigation. Uh, being able to special summon Dark Magician from your hand and then another level 7 or lower spellcaster from the deck. And then while that's in Grave, you can, ba you can banish it and negate a spell or trap card. Pretty good. I love it. This just helps me go off into Ebon Illusion, Red Ice Flare Metal, and what have you. Uh, next, I play 2 Storming. Again, you're trying to set up your opponent and just take him out. So I felt like Storming was essential. Uh, fellow's really good at two. I see it quite a bit, quite a bit, and yeah, not bad. So yeah, no more or no less. Uh, two duster, R really good. I am, I am very impressed with it, and I absolutely love playing this card. Uh, and then the last traps in the deck is you have a solid solemn brigade. I play two strikes, a warning, and judgment. Really good. I love this setup. Yeah, you're paying your life points for them, but still, they're just inherent negates. I don't see why not play the solemn package. And guys, that's it for the traps. Off to the extra deck. So again, the one fusion that I play is one Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. I mean, being able to keep your opponent from getting rid of Eternal Soul is good. Uh, Eternal Soul will hurt you if you if you're not able to get just essentially keep it on the field and Dark Magician and Dragon Knight helps with that. Plus being able to combo off with it and uh, Circle is just really good. Or er, being able to combo off with Dark Magician and Dragon Knight, Eternal Soul and uh, Dark Magical Circle to just banish everything on your opponent's field. I like it. Uh, yeah, it's, and it's Dark Magician on the field so. Again, if I see Ayatomias, I get this out. If I don't, I don't. No big deal. And usually I am should be winning the game by that point. Uh, and then I play four Xyz monsters. Uh, Ebon Illusion, I love this card. Being able to bring out Dark Magicians for uh, for free, essentially. Really good. Again, really good at comboing off of Eternal Soul. Magicians, or not Magicians, Navigation. Uh, Dark Magical Circle. Really good. I love this card. And just attacking with Dark Magician to banish a card. I like it. Uh, and then Red Ice Flare Metal. There's really no, there's really not much to talk about with Red Ice Flare. I mean, uh, you just take two Dark Magicians. If, you're, if your opponents are down to low life points, might as well make them burn themselves. So main phase two, just go Red Ice Flare Metal. Good. I love it. Uh, big Eye, just get extra link materials from your opponent. And then the main link player that you need is number 42, Galaxy Tomahawk. Really good. I love this card. Uh, again, essentially six tokens, or not six, five tokens for, for free. Really good. And get two and get a Dark Magician engraved for this. Really good. I like it. 
Uh, now off to the links. I play quite a bit. Uh, and I just realized I should have thrown in Cleef for Genius for Tomahawk, but no big deal. I'll, I'll figure out extra deck space here for it after the video. So for the link ones, you want to play one Link Karibo. I know it's a common. It is what it is. Uh, link Spider. Proxy. Just the generic links to go on a Firewall and Saryuja. Uh, Deco Talker. I do play a small Nightmare package. So one Phoenix. One Goblin. One Cerberus. And I love this card in this deck. Because just being able to shut off my opponent's monster effects and resetting a trap card. Nightmare, Fe or Nightmare Griffin. Just being able to reset my trap cards in my graveyard. Whether it's Eternal Soul. Uh, Storming. Duster. You can even reset Scapegoat with this. Why not? And then finally. One Star Yuja Skaldred. I love the draw effect on this card. And plus being able to buff up my monsters is really good. And then the last monster. Borlo Dragon. Borlo Dragon is Borlo Dragon. One of the best defensive cards in the game. And really good at just messing with my opponent. And that's what I really built this deck to do, is just interact with my opponent and keeping them from playing and stopping them from doing everything. Go first in this deck and you win. And guys, that's actually it for the deck. Uh, this is my fun deck, so I really don't have a side deck. Uh, if I do come up with one, I'll let you guys know. Uh, so anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, please go check out uh, P2 Collectibles on their eBay page. Any cards that you need, I promise they will have them, and they are above, they are far above the competition. So again, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, please do, please do me this favor. Again, this is my fifth video. I'm very excited to be on this journey with you guys, and this train is not stopping. So hopefully, guys, I'll come, I'll come back later this week. Hopefully, I can get another uh, booster box for you. I really want to get Dark Saviors. Uh, I'm really wanting to fix this, uh, spiral build. I've been really wanting to do this spiral build with, uh, Where Art Thou and, uh, Hornet Drones. So, I'm really hoping to pull a second one of this. So, anyways, guys, hopefully I can get a box of Dark Saviors for you guys. But, again, that's going to be it for this one. And, and this, ah, I can't even speak to you guys. I'm sorry. So hopefully I can get a box of Dark Saviors, Dark Saviors for you guys and open it up on the channel and search for uh, Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. So anyways, guys, this is... Uh, again, I can't even speak, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, so with that being said, this Tier Zero Scrub is signing out. And to all my fellow Scrubs, stay classy. Take it easy, guys.